Good morning. I'm Brenda with Nana's Hidden Apron. My apron is this. My husband Tom made this for me. Isn't it cute? It wasn't hiding this morning. It was where it's supposed to be in the linen closet. I call it hidden because I tend to forget if I put it in the linen closet, do I put it in one of the linen drawers? So it's always interesting for me to find where my apron is. This morning, uh, we plan on making, we plan on making buttery breakfast pumpkin rolls, keto. First thing we do is we start out with, uh, I've already got my stuff pre-measured, so, but I'll let you know what everything is and how much of it. And this, this is two and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese. And down in there somewhere is two tablespoons of cream cheese. And I'm going to heat this up in the microwave for one minute. And then I'm going to stir it really good, get it stirred in together uh, until I get it well combined. So I'll be back in just a few minutes. We're going to take this and turn it into to this. Now don't worry. If you never had keto and you say mozzarella cheese and breads, yes, <laughs> you don't taste it. It's a binder and it works great. Um, let me just mention to you, Nana, yes I am. You see that? That was my Christmas gift. Do you see that little doll right there? <laughs> That's my little angel. There's another one on the way in April. So I'll be a Nana times two. Excuse me. Okay. Next thing you want to do is, um, and in here I have half a cup of sifted coconut flour. And you can use almond flour if you want to. Um, but you need to use three-fourths of a cup. I just like the consistency of the coconut flour better. Um, and also, I have two tablespoons of baking powder and a fourth cup of sweetener. You can use a sweetener of your choice. I prefer stevia, but you can use whichever you want. And we're going to add this to the cheese mixture. You're going to get your hands dirty just so you know. And to that, we're also gonna add three eggs. I've already got them slightly beaten. And we're gonna put in two tablespoons, right, lock, that's not butter not. Two tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna wait until I get this uh, mixed together just a little bit more before I add the butter. And then also, half a teaspoon of vanilla. I bake a lot, so I go through a lot of vanilla. Okay. Yeah. Oops. And, once again, <laughs> this is going to turn into this. This is what I was talking about when I said you're going to get your hands a little dirty. Now, I prefer to use my hand to go ahead and mix it up because I can tell that I've got it mixed in better. If you don't like getting dough on your hands, you see that? Isn't that pretty? If you don't like getting this on your hands, obviously you can always use, if you have a stand mixer, you just don't want to over mix your dough because if you do, it's not going to be as tasty. I went ahead and put the butter in uh, and if you don't have a stand mixer, of course, you can just use a spatula. But I just prefer to use my hand to go ahead and get it done. Now, I need to get some of this cleared off out of my way because the next thing I'm going to do is put some parchment paper down. And I'm going to spray it with a little bit of nonstick spray. I'm going to put this in between it. Put another piece of parchment over top of it. And get it rolled out flat. Kind of in a rectangle. So, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get all of this switched around too. From this to... So this, okay, what I've done, and I'm, I'm going to have some still photos inserted.
I went ahead and rolled this out in between the two pieces of parchment paper, nice and smooth. You want it as much of a rectangle as possible, but obviously some of us are not <laughs> able to make a good rectangle while using a rolling pin. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do, now you can skip this if you want to, but I think this just really helps the crust. It really enhances the crust. Um, spread some butter on that. You want your butter to be room temperature, otherwise it's going to tear your dough up. But just spread your little butter throughout. You don't have to put a whole lot, but this is keto, so we know in keto we're allowed to have butter. Not the artificial stuff, but real butter. But we're going to get this all spread on here. And this is where you fast forward it. a little time, but it's well worth it. Well worth that flavor. How many of y'all leave butter sitting out on the, on the counter in butter dishes? I can remember my grandmother doing that. And forgot about it until, oh, years later. Years later. Makes a big difference when you need to use some soft butter. You don't have to go to the microwave and try to soften it up or melt it. All right, there we go. That's that. Next thing we're gonna do is pumpkin. It needs to be 100% pumpkin, not pie filling. Okay, we're just gonna spread this out over the top. Just however much it takes to get a nice, you know, you don't want it on there real thick but to get a nice layer on it. Sorry, I don't measure this part. I can probably say uh, half to three fourths a cup. Looking pretty good, huh? The interesting part is trying to roll it. But even when I make pumpkin rolls around the holidays, <laughs> that's the interesting part, rolling it. I think that's going to be enough. Pretty sure it is. Try to get it to the edge as much as you can. Because, you know, those end pieces on each side there, they count. <laughs> they count, and you want, it's going to be really good, so you want to. Everything to go out to the edge as much as possible, okay? Oh, man. The next thing we're going to do, this is a mixture. Half a cup of coconut sugar, fourth a teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You get this all mixed in together. And we're gonna sprinkle this on top of our pumpkin. You wanna get it on there as evenly as possible. You can use a sifter if you wanted to to do this, but just don't hold it down too low as you're sprinkling. That's the big thing. And you do want to use all of this. I know it sounds like a lot, but you need it for the flavor. I mean, come on. We're making a buttery pumpkin breakfast roll. What goes better with that than cinnamon, nutmeg, little coconut sugar. Mmm, let's get it on those edges. We want to get our edges. Mm. 
another good thing about the parchment paper. You don't have as much of a mess to clean up when you're finished. Okay. <sighs> Hardest part's coming up next. <laughs> For me, anyway. Uh, you want to take... Oop. I have a mess on my hands. Alright. Let's see if we can get this little thing rolled up. And not make too much of a mess. Hardest part for me is getting it rolled up um, and turn it. That's a lot of counter space. <laughs> get it rolled up tight. That's the hardest problem. But, I mean, it's not that difficult. It's doable. set it in the refrigerator for a while. By the way, you can make this the, night, the day before, put it in the fridge and just warm it up for a few seconds in the microwave the next day. But uh, to, to get this firm, you would have to set it in the refrigerator. If you want to. Yeah. Now we're going to cut our rolls. You need to have a pan. Oops, you know what? I've got the parchment paper in my pan, but guess what? I want to spray, just to make sure that it doesn't stick, I want to spray just a little bit of nonstick olive oil on there. You want to get it around the edges anyway. Sorry to turn my back to you. This pan, this was my mom's pan. My mother passed away in 2017. And this was one of the things I really remember her using. This was her biscuit pan. This is my everything pan. I use it as much as I can. But anyway, back to what we were doing. Uh, we're gonna put these in here. Ah, they're not the prettiest things. But you want to cut them to where they're like a half inch thick. Line them up. <laughs> These are going to taste so good. Just smelling the pumpkin alone. It smells wonderful. Get it spread out a little bit there. Can you see that? Isn't pretty? Look at that. All kinds of yummy goodness down inside of there. Everybody's got to get in here. So let's make way. But you should be able to get 12. You can come a little thicker if you want to, but I think that's plenty thick enough. Now, I already have the oven warming at 350 degrees. So we're going to pop these in there. And while they're in there baking, and putting the aroma of awesome pumpkin into the air. I'm going to be making the topping for it. So, if you'll excuse me, I'll be right back. All right, and thanks to the magic, ta-da, everything is nice and clean. Um, okay, this is the topping that uh, we're going to put on 
these pumpkin rolls that are baking in the oven. See that? <laughs> that chunks of butter I'm trying to get worked in. Um, what we have in here is three tablespoons of softened cream cheese, two tablespoons of soft butter. Um, what I like to do is take uh, a quarter cup and do half of that with the coconut sugar and the other half is powdered sugar. I think it gives it a better flavor and the powdered sweetener. Um, if you want to use a full fourth cup of powdered sweetener, that's up to you. And then it also has half a cup, or <laughs> no way, not half a cup, has half a teaspoon of vanilla in it. Um, um, I've got it all mixed up and we're still just hanging around here in the kitchen waiting for, oops, was hung up on the drawer. How about that? Apron was trying to get back in its little mess there. Um, get these finished up, get them out of the oven, put this on there and we'll watch it melt all over it. So, um, I'd say we've got about five more minutes to go. Um, when you put these in your oven, do keep an eye on them. It'll take about 20 to 25 minutes or until they get a pretty uh, tan brown color on the top. So, you guys hang out and I'll be back in a minute. There we go. Look at that. I know. <laughs> they all baked in together. But that's all part of using mom's pan. Oh. They smell wonderful. <laughs> Tom's back there going, yes, yes, please hurry. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put these down here. Set them on that wire pin. And the next thing we're going to do, oh boy, we're going to slather all this goodness on there. This was my mom's too. Yep. Nostalgic on me. <laughs> Can't help it. Yeah, I'm just going to dump it on there. It's all going to melt me. All that yummy goodness is going to get down in those little crevasse. Be amazing. And get all that out there you can. Like that. Mmm. My goodness. Look at that. Woo! Just slide right across there. And there's plenty, so don't skimp on on spreading it. <laughs> Tom's back there just waiting. He's like, hurry, I want to taste, I want to taste. No, he's not saying anything, but I can tell he's hungry. It is breakfast time. A little past breakfast time, but it's okay. Look at that. Mm, look at that. Wow. Those little bits that you still see there. That's butter. Little cream cheese. It's gonna melt down into that. Mmm. -hmm. How about that? Let's see. Remember, there's parchment paper under there, so you don't you don't want to serve that with your. <laughs> you don't want to serve that with your breakfast. So just checking to make sure it was still on the pan. <laughs> All right, one for me. And what do you think? for some? Yes, yes. He says yes. <laughs> Look at this. Mmm. All right. All right, hon. Let's grab us some forks. See what this tastes like. Huh? What do you think, guys? How about that? Okay. <laughs> 
Sometimes when I'm eating her cooking, I run into a problem. I've only got two hands. So. <laughs> Careful, it's hot. <laughs> yes. Mmm. It's so good. Goosebumps good. That's what that is. <laughs> Goosebumps good. Yay me. Yay. Okay. Let's go with me. I'll be over here. Thank you. Okay. Um, I really appreciate y'all joining me today with my first vlog. Um, hopefully there'll be many more to come. Uh, if you enjoyed this and you don't mind, please click like and the subscribe button. You'll be notified every time I put something new on. And uh, like I said, I enjoy cooking, so I should have plenty of vlogs. So I also have um, a Facebook page and it's called Handcrafted By. I'm thinking about changing the name to Nana's Hidden Apron. We'll see. But on Handcrafted By, there's already a lot of videos, photos of uh, recipes and foods that I've been making for a while now. A lot of pictures of my cakes and stuff that I've made. Again, I'm self-trained. Uh, I do what I can. You know, it's all a trial and error for me. So, until next time. <laughs>